feel free to bring it, but let's start with our warm up. Take your legs shoulder width apart, drop your shoulder blades, head over tailbone, your shoulder hip in alignment, and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down, last time up and down, and let's go side to side. Good, you've got it. Eight, seven, you wanna really fill those hips open. Four, three, two, and one. Now hold it, lift and lift. You're rotating on your big toe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center, step and raise your knee. Eight times becomes a quad stretch. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it behind. Bring it behind and lift up if you need to, to get your uh, balance. Try to push that knee as close to the other knee as possible. Keep your head over your tailbone. Let's step back and do the other side. Knee comes up. And two. And three. Four. Good job. Five. Perfect. Six. Seven. Use those arms. You've got to get yourself eight. Get yourself into a nice warmed up position. Again, raise your arms if you need to. Push that leg open and then take it wide. And we go side onto the heel. Side. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Sit way behind it into that glute. Make sure you're lifting that other foot off the floor. Arms come out. Airplane across. Look up at your um, hand. Push back. Inhale. Exhale. Over to the other side. Nice. I'm going to dive down through the center, really reach through, then walk it out to the wide leg tabletop, and then to heel toe those feet in to their sit bone width apart. Curl them up, dropping everything in position, getting your head over your tailbone, and then side to side. Nice. <clears throat> Eight, seven, six, and up those hips. Four, three, two, and one, and reach up, reach. Good. Nice. You've got it. Eight, twist, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We come to the center, roll the shoulder back, take it back eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we bring the hands behind or put them on our glutes, lift or open up our chest. <clears throat> Good. Back the hands together, rotating the arms out so you lengthen the bicep tricep area. Lower down, bring one hand across. Guide the head over to one side, make sure the shoulder is down. You can even move it back a little bit to get a little more of an opening. And then inhale and exhale over to the other side. Good. Nice big open scalenes. Beautiful job. Come back to the center, lower your knees, take your hips to your Rib cage on each side for eight sets. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you circle. Take it around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and reverse it. One, two, three. Oh, this feels good. Four, five, six. Seven and eight. Let's breathe it up three times. Take it up. Make sure you fill yourself up with a lot of oxygen too. If you haven't been out yet today, three, that's going to be pretty essential. Okay. If you have something to elevate on, bring it. If you don't, it's okay. You can do all of this on the floor. You can take yourself up and put the leg outside of your step or your step stool, whatever you have, like I have here. Now, on the floor, what you'll do is you take the leg back just a little bit and get on your toe so you're in contest. So come on up. So you have those two um, options. Get your head over your tailbone. Balance is part of the equation here, right? So let's lift for 20. One, do not lift high. Two, don't let the leg turn. Three, we want to stay in the muscle, not in the joint. Four, that's our prime mover. Five, this is adductor, abductor, abducting out, adducting in. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Get your head over your tailbone. Don't pitch forward. Four. If you need to put your arms out, five. That's okay. Six, seven, eight, 
Nice. Head to the ceiling and 20. Hold it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now lower yourself down. Put the foot back. I'm, I'm, go, I'm putting it back to the leg of the stool because you want your knees to come together as you go down into this uh, <clears throat> staggered squat. Two, again, 20, three, and we're gonna do holds today instead of pulses, four, five, exhale up, six, perfect, seven, good, eight, got it, nine, 10, 10 more, one, good, two, perfect, three, push back, four, nice, five, good, six, perfect, eight, drop those shoulder blades, nine, and then we're going to sit way behind it and hold for 20, just hold, 19, but feel yourself pushing back, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, what I forgot today, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I always can tell, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and bring it back up if you have elevation. If you don't, stay right where you are, move your foot back in on your toe. So we're adding to it. Take it out, curl, extend, and 1. Out, <clears throat> curl, extend, and 2. Out, curl, extend, and three. Out, curl, extend, and four. Five, six, nice. Seven, feels good. Oh, as long as I'm not falling over, eight, <laughs> good. Now, uh, nine, you may need to have your foot or your leg a little bent, 10, depending on the strength of your hamstrings. One, change the size of this. Two, keep going. Three, you got it. Four, five, good job. Six, you've got this. Seven, eight, perfect. Nine, and then we're going to hold that bend. It's the foot is right behind the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Lift up. Six. Head over tailbone. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, woo, three, two, and one. We come down. Again, if you have no elevation, you can just do this on the floor. Slide that leg back, and we're going to do a um, squat with a leg lift. So you take it down, lift up, go all the way down, two, three, good job, four, perfect, five, six, lift up, seven, nice, eight, good, nine, you've got it, Ooh. Ten, you gotta take it slow or you'll pitch over like me. One, good job. Two, something buzzed here. Three, lift up. Four, find that uh, position at the top. Don't just flow through it. Good, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna hold it up here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Lift up, 8. Don't push into your um, instep. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, just bring both feet down for a second. Pull yourself up. Lift out of it. Good. Now, <clears throat> take it off the side again. And we're going to take it out. Turn, front, and 1. Out. Turn, front, and two, three, good, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, good, nine, 
perfect. 10, turn it. One, turn. Two, turn. Three, now this might take you off your balance, which is great. Four, because we're working on that. Five, now what you've noticed here, six, because of my leg or my knee issues, seven, I can't extend my leg on the turn. Eight, maybe you can. Nine, and 10, hold it there. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it back in. Now we're going to do the same thing with the squat. So we're going to have the knee come to the side as you come up. So you're going to actually come up into a tree position, not resting your leg against the inner thigh, but the same rotation now. So take it down and one, down and two. Now you notice three, only the lower body, four, does the rotation. So the upper body is to five, it stays facing forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, one, good job, two, three, good. Four, good job. Five, perfect. Six, seven, this is gonna be your most challenging hold. Eight, good job. Nine, perfect. And 20, let's hold it out here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, lift. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step back. I want you to do a couple of grapevines. So back, side, front. Good, I just want you to get motion into your body because I suspect that some of us, maybe not you, are holding really tightly on these because you're afraid of the balance work. So I want you to loosen up. So three more. Two, and last one, three. Let's go up. Now, let's see how I do on my weak knee side, pull this up just a little more for support. Bring yourself up. All right, if you're not on elevation, that's fine. All right, take it out for 20. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, head over tailbone. Two, three, four. Now you could also, five, have shoes on. Six, if this is not enough padding for you. Seven, that's no problem. Eight, and then you will, nine, and then hold it just for 10. Uh, one, two, then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Um, and then you will push into your instep to keep your balance. So that's always an option. Put your shoes on for this. I know we do centering and strengthening barefoot, but it doesn't hurt to have your shoes on. All right, remember to slide that foot back, all right? Again, mine's by the back leg of the stool. Yours could be across from the heel, if you, of your heel of your other foot, if you're on the ground. 20 squats with a lift. So down and one, down and two, three, four. Oh, this was without a lift, right? Five, sorry, six, good. Seven, which comes next? Eight, good. Nine, 10 more, yes. Shoulder blades come down as you put your head over your tailbone. Two, three, nice job. Four, then we're gonna hold for 20, no pulsing today. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we're on 20 holds after the first one. 20, 19, sit back, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, exhale, bring it up, and you're off to the next position. So it's out, bend the knee, extend, and down. So it's out. Bend, extend, and one. Out, 
bend, extend, and two. Out, bend, can you have support here? And three, yes you can. What you want to do, extend and five, is maintain your alignment. And six, so out, bend, this can train you for balance. Seven, even with a prop, bend, extend, and eight. Out, bend, extend, and nine. Try to get the foot behind the knee, extend, and 10. Out, bend, and again, no pitching forward. That's gonna throw your balance. One, out, bend, extend, and two. Out, bend, extend, and three. I'm using more of an open arm on the side to support my weak leg. Four, out, bend, extend, and five. Out, bend, extend, and six. Out, bend, extend, and seven. Out, bend, extend, and eight. Out, bend, extend, and nine. Now you're gonna hold it for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. There goes 3, 2, and 1. Let's go to that squat. My knee just gave out on that. All right, now we do the lifts. Take it down and 1, all the way down. Down and 2. So we don't stop at the so we go all the way down, three, four, lift up, five, good, six, perfect, seven, good, eight, nine, keep going, 10, jerking my knee a little bit, 10, lift, nine, lift, eight, lift, seven, good, Six, so one of the things that's really important, five, when you come down that you're moving back, four, right into that glute, or else it will do destruction to your knee. Three, maybe not today, but over time, two, and hold it up here on one for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, we're back. Let's step on here. We're back to the lift with the turn out. Right? So reach head over your tailbone, get the shoulder blades down. Alignment on this is so important. All right? Take the leg out, up the step, take it out, turn front and one. Not that fast. Out, turn front and two. Out, turn front and three. Out, turn front and four. Out, turn, front, and five. Head over tailbone. Are you pitching forward? Front, it's so easy. Six. Out, turn, front, and seven. Out, turn, front, and eight. Out, turn, front, and nine. Out, turn, front, ten more. Out, turn, front, and one. Out, turn, front, and two. Three. Good. Four, you've got it. Five, keep going. Six, I just give up when my knee starts to scream. Seven, it's very loud, can you hear it? Eight, nine, and now hold that turn. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, I'm gonna move it in. 14, just to pr protect my knee. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna squat to open tree, which means we're not putting our leg against our thigh. That's what I mean by open tree. Take it down and one, down and two, down and three, four. I mean, you can put your leg against your, your feet against your leg, five, if you want to, six, but it's not a requirement. Seven, open up that hip, eight, so one of the things this works on, nine, keep going, is pelvic alignment, 10. So anything that opens like this, one, helps with the pelvic floor, two. We talk about that all the time. Three, I went years without hearing about it. Four, narrow, I hear about it all the time. Five, good job. Six, sit behind it. Seven, eight, nine, 
Let's see if I can hold it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, lift up, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step off, grapevine, four times. Let's go. We're not done with the stool. Good. Keep going. Nice. Push it out. Nice. Perfect. Yep. You've got it. All right. Last one. All right. We're back up on the stool. All right. I'm going to turn a little bit, and then I'll turn back. The leg is off behind you. So you're lifting up, putting your arms in front of you in a diagonal. Lift and one. Lift and two. Three, you got it. Four, it's not high. Again, you could do this on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. And you want to feel that opening right here, too. That's why I have the arms up. So you can do alignment all the way down the body. Three, four. That also helps your lats. Five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and hold it, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place it back. We're going to alternate on this particular sequence. All right, take the other leg back. Arms go up in front of the ears. One, two. Now, it doesn't hurt, three, to have either leg slightly bent, four. But what you're going for is alignment, so you're not bending to one side. Five, it's right down the middle for your comfort. Six, good. Seven. And if you do bend at eight, what you're going to feel is the muscle engaging even more because it loads at ten. Ten more. Ten, pointed foot. Nine, eight. Seven, six, shoulder blades down, eyes ahead. Five, four, three, two, and hold it up here for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, taking it back, I'll demonstrate again. The leg is back. Just from this position, you're going to curl and down. Curl, okay? Three, keep going. Four. So you're taking it past the 40 or the 90 degrees. You're trying to get it to the glute. Five, six, if you can. Seven, eight. Nice. Nine. Try to let it down off the bench. Ten and not on the bench. One. Good job. Two. Three. Four, five, six, push, seven, eight, feeling that strength of that glute, nine, and the front of the hip. Hold it up there for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it down. Other side, <clears throat> lift those arms up, one, two, nice pointed foot on this, three. So usually we flex to the hamstring, four, but we're keeping it pointed because I want support from the front of the leg. Six, seven, eight, good job, nine, ten more, yes, one, two, three, four, good job. Five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and hold it, 20, 19, really squeeze, 18, really push it up there, 17, 16, 15, 14, and I know you're getting some feeling in your shoulders, uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, the final piece, slide it off. Bend it is a hydrant. Let's go. One, not too high. Two, 
three. Okay, so what's different? Four between the bent leg, five, and the long leg going out to the side, six. Well, we engage that quad muscle and that inner thigh muscle more, seven. We take it off a hinge, eight. Well, not as much on the hinge, nine. So it has a different emphasis, 10. Don't let the leg turn, 10, nine. And guess what? You're getting some waste, eight. Good job, seven, six, last five, and four pointed toes, three, and two, and hold it up there, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower down on one. Final part on the bench standing. We're gonna use the bench a lot more today, even for our strength focus workout. You're hanging out for that. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Make sure it's behind you. Four, don't curl it right from the, the bench. Take it off. Five, and then curl it. Six, seven. You want those knees side by side. Eight, and you want a little bit of a reach right around this groin muscle. Ten, ten more. 10, nine, eight, woohoo, seven, good job, six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and one, hold it, 20, 19, 18, 17, lift 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring it down, roll your shoulders back. One more, and then roll them forward. So we're gonna sit on the bench and we're gonna do our, our bicep curls. And uh, I love these because they um, isolate the bicep. So get your bicep uh, weights, and have a seat, walk your knees out in front and widen your legs. So we're going to put our, I'm going to show you the trajectory of the curl first. So your hand is all the way down, like you're touching the floor with your third finger. Your elbow is into your thigh muscle, or to your thigh part. You're, you have to extend from here because the pickup is the um, work. So you pick it up and you take it three quarters of a way. You don't let anything detach from that inner thigh muscle and then you lower it all the way down. Now I emphasize this because people have a tendency to rotate it, to throw their body into it. It is a very isolated curl. So we want to make the most of it. So let's start with 20 on this side and go down and wait when you can, when you fail at three or more, but not until you fail, okay? Remember to exhale up. So we start with an inhale, inhale, exhale, two, and we will alternate sides, three, because we want to keep the form going, four. And if I fatigue you too much right out of the gate, five, you might mess up in form. I want you to stay with your heaviest weight, six, seven. Good job. Make your body stay forward, eight. So some people twist into this. That is really bad for your back and your hips, nine, 10. Good. All the way down, one. Good. Two. And again, we're going to hold three, no pul pulsing. Four, and you can always do a spot five, which means helping it out of the first part and then letting it go six. That's better, seven than quitting or pushing your body into it like people do this, eight, because they want their back to help, nine. And we're gonna hold it up here for 20, 19, 18, feel the tension, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And let's take it to the other side. All right, same thing. Get that elbow into the thigh. You want to relax. See, I, sometimes I do this and I take my shoulders out of position. I have to relax my shoulder down and stop doing that. I want to stay in line. All right, inhale to begin. Exhale, 1. Don't over grip the weight, 2. You'll create a, a mess in your fingers and your wrist. Four, five, six, 
Nice. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't throw it. Seven. What you want to feel like you're doing is drawing a line. Eight. Remember those compasses when we were taking geometry and the way they created arcs? Nine. I want that kind of fluidity. And 20. Hold it up there. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. Do they still use them? 6. There's everything on the four. There's everything on the computer. Three, two, and one. My favorite part of math was the equipment. We didn't actually have math in my high school, but I did get a little taste of it. Okay, we're taking it halfway only to the elbow. So go to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, one. Just right here to the elbow. Two. I call this three, the trade position, and you'll see why in the next set. Four, you've done it before if you've been with me. Now, one of the things I want to remind you of is if you're looking at the screen six on every single rep, you're probably pushing your head on the back of the neck. So eyes go down, eight, to keep that neck fluid. Nine, because you're a little pitched forward here. Ten, so your body has to follow that line. One, that means your head, two, has to be looking at, like I'm looking down at the Three, at the uh, legs of the desk. Four, five, where the camera is sitting. Six, to keep my head in proper alignment. Seven, good. Eight, try not to rotate your body. Nine, now you're gonna hold it here. 20, 19, I'm not trying to go fast. 17, 16, really static. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. All right. Get your position. Get your inhale. Exhale one, just to the middle. Two, that tray position. Three, four, good job. Five, six, nice. Seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh, over grip. One, keep your body aligned. Two, make sure you go all the way down. Three, nice. Four, good. Five, nice. So, six, if you feel your body self throwing into it, throwing your body into it. Seven, make sure you're doing the exhale because that'll help you. So, that stops your body and hold it there. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower it down. Let's take it to the other side. Now we're going to take it to the center right here. Lift it off the thigh as we push forward and back. Now, one of the things that you will notice that you get a lot of assistance from the shoulder here, so the isolation is super important. So I didn't count that one. Inhale, exhale, and inhale. Two, three, four. We got that nice five, that nice strong bicep. Six, seven, good. Eight, nine, ten, one. Good job. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Hold it out there, 20. Now you can put your hand under your forearm if you want a little bit of assistance because you'll still be hardening that uh, bicep. Uh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down, and bring yourself over. All right, take it to the tray position. Oops, put your hand under. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. So if this hurts your back, eight, sorry, that's a little late. Let me do it stand. Nine, ten more. Ten, nine, good job. Eight, seven, really feel that bicep. Six, five, nice strong arm. Four, three, two, and hold it here. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're not done with biceps yet. Let's bring our legs together. It's biceps all day. Okay, so we're going to try a different angle. So you can sit or stand for this. You're going to rotate your arm around. Let me take the weight out. All right, your arm is in the front. You're going to rotate it to the side. Now, we can't get all the way against our body because that hyperextends our elbow, but we want to bring it down to the lowest angle here and then take it up to that 75% that of the way up. Okay, keeping the um, elbow into the waist. Inhale, exhale. Two, now it's gonna feel a little harder. Three, because we don't work this angle enough. Four, but our muscles aren't boxes. Five, we have to work the roundness of them. Six, right? Seven, are you holding your belly button to your spine so that your back is supported? Eight, good job. Nine, you want those legs in front of your knees, your head over your tailbone. Ten, oh, this is hard. One, I might have to go lower. I'm going to fail here. Two, yep. Three, good job. Four, five, I wasn't prepared to do that, so I surprised myself. Six, good. Seven, exhale out. Eight, I'm legs together. <laughs> Nine, and hold it for 20, 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower it down, and I'm going to start with my heavy one on this side. Get my arm out to the side. Inhale, exhale, 2, 3, pull that belly in, all the way down. Four, but not hyperextend. Five, no rocking, right? Six, seven, good. Eight, perfect. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, woo -hoo, nine, and 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now I'm going to start with the heavy again because my arm had a little bit of a rest. So we're going to keep that angle, but we're going to go to tray, right? Right here, one, two. Now this might feel a little awkward. Don't go all the way down if it feels weird on your elbow or shoulder. Four, good. Five, good. Six, and we tell them belly buttons is fine. Seven, eight, we don't have to do holds just because we're running out of time. Nine, and 10, nice, one. <laughs> Two, it's going. Three, but I'm determined. Four, keep going. Five, good. Six, two, seven, different sides of the head of the muscles. Eight, good job. And it's getting a little shoulder. Nine, and 20. Let's go over to that other side, starting with my heavy. Let's go. One, just right to the middle. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got it. Ten. This is why we love nine. Finding new ways to work out at home. Eight. 
Good. Just using the kitchen stool. Seven, six, tailing up. Five, four, three, two, and one. And just roll it out. Get out of your way. Now we're going to stretch it out. Open your legs a little bit, the back of your hands together. Just rotate under. Really feel that rotation. Getting those biceps and triceps nice and long. I want you to put the hand straight up in a stop sign. Push back on your hand a little bit to just extend that arm. You don't want to pull too much out of your shoulder. Good. And then rotate the wrist in one direction and then rotate it in another. Let it drop down. Roll the shoulder back eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. Stop sign. Push gently. Just feel an extension. Release it. Rotate the wrist in one direction and then the other. Relax the arm down and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, um, hug yourself in one direction. Good. And open up and switch the position of the arms. Release your arms down and bring yourself up to standing. We're going to stick with this stool for our stretch. So I'd like you to put your heel into the floor and just a little bit of a head toward the corner of the ceiling. The corner of the ceiling. Yeah. And now take it down beside the leg into the center. You get that hamstring stretch. Beautiful job. Now, we also did um, squats, so let's take it into a lunge right here. Oops, my knee is not over my ankle. There we go. Beautiful. And then bring it back up, and then what I'd like you to do is take that same leg, cross it over, and slide down. That's going to get your ab done. Put that behind your hamstring. Roll your chest as much as you can. You're trying to stretch the other thigh. And then roll yourself up. And then we're going to do this on the other side. So come up into the bench. Just a slight diagonal. Head to the corner of the ceiling. Breathe into it. And then take it all the way down the side of the leg through the center. Good, and then foot into the bench, walk that foot back, make sure it's facing forward, and do your lunge. Just drop down, you don't want to push forward, just drop down. Here, and then turn to the front, crossing the other foot over, and forward forward. Bring it down. Nice, I love this stretch. And then curl yourself up. We're going to separate our legs and we're going to just do some hip rotations. Take it around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up. And down, and last time, thank you everybody for coming to cent Centering and Strengthening. Today we did a balance workout that had a lot of strength components to it, and then we did a bicep concentration. Cool work.